Hi, Cine4D users. This is James Steidel from C4 Depot. I've been an art director my entire life and became one of the top 30 producers of stock images in the world over the last few years. And many of the images used by 60 Minutes, Disney, Universal Studios, and CNN were created inside Cinema 4D by me and my talented associate, Kyle Gruba. Now, if you're a software engineer and think in machine code, you don't need to finish this video, but if you're a digital artist and just want to get great renders as fast as possible, I think you're going to be interested in the lighting tools inside Studio Kit Pro and the free download version called Studio Kit Lite. Now, I used to take pride in being able to do everything myself from scratch, but it doesn't take a lot of time to find out that working hard is a waste of time if you can just work smart. I don't know about you, but I'd rather be more productive and wealthier than proud of the fact that I did everything the hard way. And if you're like me, every time you start a new scene inside Cinema 4D, it's kind of like deja vu all over again, going through the standard drill of setting up materials and lights, just to get to that point where you can click the render button and see what you've got. Even if you've saved out a generic scene, you're pretty much stuck with whatever is inside that scene, which may not be appropriate for every project you're working on. And if you add up all the time throughout the year you do this, you're probably spending days doing the same setup drill over and over again. So it seems pretty obvious that it would be a lot easier to just do the hard work once and make a bunch of presets readily available inside Cinema 4D for frequently used lighting setups. But as it turns out, it's actually not that simple because the generic lights inside Cinema 4D have some shortcomings. They have certain sweet spots that really only work well when you dial in a litany of parameters where they're balanced with the surface materials in the scene. So when you change a lighting parameter, it also necessitates that you make a change to material parameters as well. Otherwise, you're just kind of going back and forth fiddling with these parameters and spending a lot of extra time dialing in settings just so you can get the object to be illuminated correctly. So getting those multiple elements to sync together was really not that easy. But my associate, Kyle, he's a really sharp guy. He cracked it and figured out how to do it. What Kyle did is he used Espresso to create a complex set of relationships between all of the scene elements, you know, the lights, and the surface materials so that when you change one parameter, you're actually changing all of the parameters in the scene to maintain continuity with the balance between all of those elements. And I think the results are really spectacular. I mean, it makes very quick, foolproof lighting effects and scene renders inside Cinema 4D. You also don't need to dig through a bunch of project folders looking for HDRI backgrounds, which can actually take up quite a bit of hard drive space every time you copy them into a new scene. As a photographer, my contribution was to add bounce cards so that your shadows don't have to be dull or boring. And you can add very subtle fill lighting effects very easily because when you throw a bounce card in, it's auto targeting and you can color them so that your low lights either have a cool violet look or a warm hue. Now, I, I really personally love it when shadows have kind of a violet cast to them because it really adds drama to your shadows. So the final result is that you can set up a really professional looking lighting studio inside Cinema 4D in just a few seconds. You just throw your backdrop in, your HDR environments, bounce cards, lights, put it all together and you're ready to go. And the time you're going to save using Studio Kit Pro will really pay for itself quickly. You know, you don't have to take our word for it because we created the free version called Studio Kit Lite, which allows you to download that and you can play with the elements in there. It's a very stripped down version. It doesn't have a lot of the really cool elements like bounce cards and HDRI presets and so on, but it'll give you an idea of how the Studio Kit Pro works. And when you get Studio Kit Pro, you're going to get a ton of professional add-ons, including eight HDRI skies, four backdrops, uh, you're going to get an ambient light dome, 23 scene presets, which are actually take a ton of time to create, but they're very, very common presets. And I think you're going to really enjoy them once you start playing with them. You'll get auto-targeting bounce cards and seven high quality models, which collectively sell more than the entire studio light kit itself. If you look at the uh, prices that these models sell for in Turbo Squids. So it's really a pretty exceptional value. So just click the like button right now and you'll be able to download Studio Kit Lite and register for a coupon for 30% off Studio Kit Pro today. Thanks a lot and we'll see you inside. Bye now.